Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at probably one of the coolest tweaks I've seen released in Cydia in a long time. Now this tweak is called Controllers for All. Now basically, in a summary, what this tweak allows you to do is to connect a PS3 controller to any iOS device that is jailbroken on, on iOS 7, so that would be the iPad, the iPhone, the iPod Touch. Uh, and it allows you, like I said, to connect your PS3 controller via Bluetooth, and it's going to allow you, you to use your PS3 controller to play controller-supported game applications. Uh, now, of course, there is a limitation on how many apps actually support a controller. Uh, most of them have been made for the Moga Ace Power and the uh, Logitech controller. If you guys remember, I did the review of this guy, which is basically you know, a controller specifically made for the iPhone and iPod Touch, uh, but those apps do have, you know, uh, specific button controls, um, like it works, you know, for the controller. So this just allows you to use a PS3 controller instead of a specific uh, I iOS device made controller. So this is a really, really cool tweak. Now, after you install controllers for all, you will notice two new sections in your settings application. You have BT stack and controllers for all. Now, before I get into these two sections, uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to pair your PS3 controller to your iOS device uh, and you will have to do that on your computer with a little program called six pair now before we jump on the computer make sure you plug in both your PS3 controller and your iOS device to your computer via USB so make sure they're both plugged in and now we can go ahead and jump onto our computer now I will leave both download links for six pair for Mac and Windows down in the description so be sure to refer there uh, basically like I said just make sure both devices are connected and then all you gotta do is click on pair and you're done and we can go back to our iOS device alright so back to the iPad now we're gonna go over the two sections within the settings application that this comes with uh, the first is uh, controllers for all you have the ability to suppress the notifications I'd recommend not touching that just leave that alone and then you also do have uh, email pairing instructions I already showed you how to pair with six pair and then you do have your BT stack section here uh, now what you want to do is go into control center make sure the Bluetooth is turned off so go ahead and turn that off and then go into BT stack and make sure that it's checked on BT stack so you just go ahead and click on BT stack and that's it you're ready to go you're ready to start gaming so let's go ahead and go to our springboard and let's go to a uh, controller supported game so Bastion is one um, I will make up a list of uh, at least all the games I know of that do support a controller and I will have a top 10 video um, for these apps coming out here very shortly as well so stay tuned in for that but anyways we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up Bastion here and then you'll see a notification at the top initialize, initializing Bluetooth searching for PS3 controller press the PS button so we just go ahead and press it once see the lights start flashing connected to PS3 controller boom our light is on and we are ready to go as simple as that guys uh, this is seriously really awesome this this basically turns your iOS device into a, a game console now if you do have an Apple TV you can even you know uh, airplay the screen and it's literally like a game console I actually prefer just playing it on the iPad that's why I showed with the i oh and I died that's why I decided to show you guys with my iPad in this video instead of my iPhone because I think this is just really fun to play. Oh, I'm getting my butt beat. Shoot him up, shoot him up, shoot him up. And there's literally, like, there's no lag whatsoever. Like, it's just, it works flawlessly. It's amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we can go into uh, Cydia and I'll show you guys where to get this tweak. So now once you are in Cydia, all you have to do is search for controllers for all. This is a paid uh, tweak. It is $1.99. But if you ask me, $1.99 is absolutely worth it. Something like this would typically, you know, go in Cydia for like $10. So $1.99 uh, is absolutely worth it for, you know, a tweak this awesome in my opinion. Supports all iOS 7 devices. Um, and I, it's pretty self-explanatory. just allows you to connect your... Uh, PS3 controller to your iOS device and play controller supported game applications and that's really all there is to it guys again that is called controllers for all if you guys enjoyed this video definitely throw me that thumbs up that does help me out tremendously here at the channel also like I said I'll leave the links for everything down in the description and if you guys want to see more iOS 7 jailbreak tweak videos like this be sure to click on that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I'll catch you guys in the next one later